red alert, BWAH, BWAH, fire alarm sounds, Kurt Kallenbach is right, protect your DNA in the RV. March 26, 2019 by Anna Von writes. When I first read Kurt's research, even though I was already familiar with the great fraud, I was taken aback and I admit that my initial reaction was, wow, what is this guy smoking? As preposterous as the history sounds at first blush, it runs in the channels of what can be readily observed today, like tracing a river back to its headwaters. What Kurt is telling people about the church history giving rise to the current malpractices, is right. Confirmed. It's dead serious. Literally. True and correct. The rot, the false probate of estates, the contracting with minors, the false claims of guardianship, the false claims of abandonment, pauperism, claims of legal death, and claims of commonwealth interest in the estates of infant decedents does go all the way back to the church in the Middle Ages. It vastly predates the Sestui K. Vi Act of 1666. Kurt has continued to work and expand his researches and followed the thread forward to its modern-day conclusions. There is no doubt in my mind, and should be no doubt in anyone else's mind, that the Roman Catholic Church and the Holy Roman Empire is the source of all this fraud and legal chicanery. What started out as superstitious ignorance in the Middle Ages has borne fruit as a gargantuan system of fraud and predation by purported service organizations today. It began when midwives and clergy in the Middle Ages couldn't account for what a placenta is. It appeared to them to be a hideously misshapened, malformed, living being a monster that had a pulse to begin with, but which always mysteriously died shortly after a baby was born. Not knowing any better, they assumed it was a sort of evil twin to the child, and named it after the child, and buried it. This is the genesis of the straw man and the practices associated with creating and justifying the existence of an infant decedent and probating its estate. Of course, we now know what a placenta is and how it functions, but the church had benefited so royally from all these extra estates being donated to it, that the evil legal practices associated with this medieval ignorance has carried right on into the present day, and gotten worse. Did you know that unless you specifically ask for it back, the hospital seizes upon the placenta as property and retains it? They also claim the DNA, found, in the placenta, your DNA, as, abandoned property. That then gives them the right, purportedly, to claim you right down to your hair and fingernails. Like all other such claims it's fraudulent non-disclosed theft and crime against babies and new mothers, but if you don't come back and claim your DNA, their false claim in commerce stands. Kurt has pioneered an extensive process to overcome this which he calls a paramount claim, it is, last time I looked, about 20 pages worth of precisely defined recordings that establish the evidence and the claims of a living soul all the way back to the moment of conception and the zygote formed, and placing an absolute priority claim on our own DNA combination. This is becoming ever more important and critical to claim as the move is on to create biological ID devices, cards, readers, etc. for use in banking and government. And obviously, if they have already claimed your DNA, they can claim any assets attached to that DNA. Just recently it was announced on Dinar Chronicles or one of the other major GCR, RV sites that people seeking to exchange Dinar and Zims will be required to give two drops of blood and get a bio ID based on their DNA, but as a result of Kurt's research you can now see the endgame. This is their new gambit in their endless attempt to own us and our assets. It's time to slap the filthy hands of the prelates, poobahs, politicians and police responsible and add another extension to our recordings, a paramount claim to own our DNA from the moment of conception. I drafted a one-page version and am adding it to the basic forms package, securing this additional explicit asset claim. Those who are preparing to do any large or important monetary transactions, especially those that require biological ID, are advised to run don't walk, get at least this one-page paramount claim on your DNA and other biological assets recorded before any transactions take place. Take a certified copy to the exchanges to make part of your paperwork, otherwise, you stand to be defrauded and controlled by this latest false claim in commerce brought to you by the Holy Roman Empire. If you are likely to be doing any government work or banking or anything requiring a bio ID, you would be well advised to contact Kurt and do his whole process, but at a minimum everyone needs to get at least a basic DNA claim recorded.